Well, that report obviously from the United States, but what about the safety standards here in Canada? Is our country lacking in fire regulations like they are when it comes to furniture products? Joining us now to talk more about this is Nick Bottas from the DeGroote School of Business. Hi, Nick. Hi, Dan. How are you? I'm good. Are there any regulations here in Canada or are regulations very similar to the ones in the United States? Canada is actually in a much better situation than the U.S. We have uh, three organizations uh, responsible in this regard. Health Canada, the National Building Code, and the Ontario Fire Code. And they take care of textiles and things like furniture and curtains and carpets. And we actually have a, a regulation. It's uh, called uh, ULCS 109. It stands for the Underwriters Laboratories of Canada. And what they do is called a relative ignitability evaluation on these things. And it's quite simple. It basically consists of a cigarette test and a mask test and they put a, a lit cigarette and a lit match on top of furniture or carton or curtains and if it ignites then of course uh, it's labeled as flammable so you'll see those certificates on those uh, items but they're still sold I'm sorry but they are still sold yeah. What should we consumers know before making a purchase then? Well, obviously, we've got to read the warning labels, right? So for when you see the cushions, for example, in furniture, they'll have a, a certificate or a, a label on them, either from Health Canada or a sticker from the Underwriter Laboratories of Canada, and that will confirm that those are safe or at least fire retardant with regards to flammability. Uh, but there's another side to this story that I just want to point out. Uh, there's a whole body of individuals right now from the environmental sector who are arguing that what these organizations are using to retard flammability. This chemical is called PBD, it stands for polybrominated diphenyl ether, and basically this chemical that they're using has now been known to be cancer causing and affect the immune system, so there's some negativity involved with it as well. So I'm getting the impression from what you're telling me here that uh, some companies at least do consider fire when choosing materials for their products, right? For couches and chairs and so on? Yeah, they do. I mean, it's part of the regulation. And of course, if manufacturers want to be certified through the Underwriters Laboratory of Canada, then they have to go through the, all those ignitability tests to make sure that those manufacturers have that authenticity for fire retardation. Um, but you know what? As consumers, we've got to be smart at home. Let's not do dumb things. Don't keep candles lit. Don't keep electrical cords under carpets. And most importantly, you know, when you have appliances at home and you're away for an extended period of time we're going to be on summer vacation now unplug your appliances and then there's really very little way that they're going to catch on fire it's the first day of summer tomorrow so let's also check our fire alarms yeah let's be safe all right thank you nick for all of that and uh, i guess the old adage holds true let the buyer beware that's right thank read you. the label thanks nick thank you.